Hey, what's good everybody? It's Chester270 here today with my first Minecraft video. Now I'm going over redstone and how to use it and how to make it work and pretty much what it does. Now I'm just laying it down here showing you guys how it's used, what it's used, you know, what it's used for. And it's placed in a ground to carry an electrical charge and can also be used to help your potions out. I'll go over a potion video later. But I'd prefer not to do it in this video because I don't want everything crammed up. Now, the things you can do with redstone, you can do the most amazing things. I saw this guy build a calculator on this game with redstone. I don't know how to do that. Probably never learn. I've seen people make guns and all sorts of stuff out of redstone. So to make redstone work, you'll need a lever, a button, a pressure plate, a redstone torch or a red or a tripwire hook. Any of those five things will work, or you could use all five if you want to get really creative and inventive. I'm not too good with it. There's also another thing, but I didn't go over this video. It's called an um rail cart detector. But I didn't go over it because I didn't really think about it, and it's a little more complicated. So as you can tell, redstone lights up when you have something connected to it and you're powering it. So I placed that a pressure plate. Because when you step on a pressure plate, it powers if anything steps on a pressure plate. Same with the lever, le or not same with the lever, but levers are used like switches at home. They stay on until you turn it off, and they stay off until you turn it on. I'm just showing you guys, again, how this all works. Now I'm placing on a redstone again to show you guys how a redstone torch works. Now redstone torches are on forever. There is a way to invert redstone torches so they're off until you turn on a button or something to make them work. But that's going to be in a different video because it is kind of complicated. I'm showing you guys here that, as you can tell, it's placed one block away and it's not working. They have to be placed right next to each other for it to work. And that's why I always have a lot of trouble making redstone look good in a house. So I'm going to be going over the button. Now the button has to be placed on an object. It cannot be placed in the ground. And they are kind of a pain in the ass to use. Sorry to swear, but they are kind of a pain to use. And I only use them for doors and sometimes for traps. Now, I'm just going to show you guys that when you place redstone in between, uh, place red, well, while I'm placing redstone here, it connects or it connects to all the other redstone and it powers it all so as you can tell that redstone torch that's on right now is powering all that redstone now I'm gonna switch I'm gonna press the button and it's gonna turn it all on I switch the lever turns it all on and I step in the pressure plate turns it all on and when you step in the pressure plate if it's not connected it's not gonna work and I'm gonna flip the switch since those are all connected but not connected to the pressure plate redstone it doesn't work. Same with the button. It doesn't turn on the rest of the redstone. Sorry, I had some trouble turning on this button. I hate buttons. But I, again, it doesn't work unless it's all connected. So I'm just going to place another redstone torch here and show you guys that the redstone torch is pretty good. It's my favorite. So the what is this for the redstone torch? What it says is consistently sends an electrical charge or it can be used as a receiver slash transmitter when connected to a side of a block can also be used as low level lighting you don't really need this low level lighting I would just use a torch now levers used to send an electrical charge by being turned on or off stays on or off state until pressed again buttons use an electrical charge by being pressed stays activated for approximately a second before turning off and a pressure plate is used or is powered when an animal, a player, or a monster steps on it. Or there's also blocks that can activate them. And then the tripwire hook, I just completely skipped over that. But the tripwire hook is a little complicated, but it's not too bad. So I'm going to be placing a tripwire hook right here. And as you can tell, not as you can tell, I'm sorry. But it's not working right because you need a string. And you find string under materials. Now when you find string, you place the string in between the tripwire hooks, not on the tripwire hooks themselves. So that didn't work at all. 
So you have to have at least three spaces in between the two blocks that you have them connected to. Now the string ended up connecting to the tripwire hooks and again it's just has it all activated or you can tell it's activated because the redstone and not the redstone the tripwire hooks are put more in the center instead of facing up and when you step on them they go down instead of being in the center of the block sorry so that's red that's a tripwire hook so that's pretty much what all redstone is I'm going to show you guys how to open up a door now you don't necessarily need redstone to open up a door unless you want to get really fancy and over the top with it I thought doors were under miscellaneous but they're under I don't know what it's called hold on building block sorry so I'm using an iron door because they're just a little better to use to show how to work wooden doors wooden doors work exactly the same as well if you guys were wondering but again I just wanted to use a red or an iron door now I, I'm just gonna build a little model of so maybe someone's uh, front door or back door or something now when you place a button on the side it will open it uh, it doesn't matter what side any side pressure plate in the floor it will open it and switch on the right side or left side or on top or on the floor it'll all work I was gonna place a tripwire hook but I messed up here and I got really confused tripwires just came out for PlayStation with the title update 14 so I wasn't really paying attention when that update came out because I wasn't playing too much anymore because I got bored of the game but after that update I got pretty excited to play again so as you can tell this tripwire is not opening up that door so I was trying to connect some redstone to show you guys but again the redstone won't turn on the door or open up the door sorry it doesn't open up the door and again I'll place another block and it still won't open up the door now if you're confused by this redstone has to be pointing towards the object you want working so if you want a door working you have to have the redstone facing towards the door if you want a dispenser working it has to be facing towards the dispenser now when I flip on that, when I step on that trip hook, it works great. So thanks everybody. I know this may have been a confusing tutorial, but I'm sorry I'm not too good with describing redstone. I find it a little tough. I'll be going over how to work dispensers next, and I'll also show you guys how to hide redstone and make it look good in this game. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. If you have any questions, send me a message through Twitter, through email, or send me a firm request. See you guys.